So, um, we're going to talk about something called arrays or arrays, however you want to pronounce it in this video. Um, so, essentially what an array or an array, I'm just going to call it an array because, you know, Hindi, array, array, it sounds similar. So, what an array is, is that it's a collection of elements. It's like a set. You know, you study uh, set theory in mathematics. Um, so an array is like a collection of data. So you can have an array of a specific type. So let's say you have an array, which is basically a collection. That's, I think that's the best word for it. A collection of, of objects. Oh, okay, wait, 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 wait. I'm sorry about that statement, don't just just forget that I said that. Don't think of it as a collection of objects because in Java, the word object has a different meaning. Think of it as a collection of items. That's simpler. That makes more sense. Let's say you have an array of type um, int. Okay. So basically you can represent it like, you know, like Okay, let me try and draw a nice diagram. Let's say you have one big box. This is your array. And you have different items in this. Let's say you have one that's 4, 21, 6, 7, 10, 3, so this is your array now these elements have numbers this is the element as in they have positions not numbers they have positions so every element has a specific position in this big yellow box which is the array so this is position 0 1 2 3 4 5 now if I asked you the length of this array, which is the total number of characters, the answer would be 6. Now, why is this? This is because um, computers, they number from 0 instead of numbering from 1. So, you always go from 0 through 5 instead of 1 through 6. Keep that in mind, it's really important. It's something that will confuse, not confuse you, but it's, it's like a thing, it's a common error that people make. 0 through 5 for an array of length 6. Now why are arrays useful? Arrays are useful because essentially you can have a lot of things put in one set and you can access any of those one things at one time really fast. Let's say you have, let's make my yellow box. Let's say I have one, three, five, seven, dot, 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 dot. Let's say I have like all the odd numbers till 99. Now, if I wanted to find the 45th odd number, 45th odd number, whatever it is. Okay, wait, I don't think the 45th odd number comes between 1 to 100 does it yeah there's 50 numbers 50 even yeah the 45th odd number should be sometime somewhere towards the end i think it's um 91 or something like that i'm guessing because there's five more 93 95 97 99 okay that's four more so the 45th one should be 89 i'm thinking but i'm i'm not sure about that anyway it's irrelevant if you had to find the 45th odd number all you would have to do is look for the 45th element in this in this box 45th element these these smaller boxes here are elements and the big one is the array this whole thing is the array or array so now let's just review what i just said 
can think of an array as a huge container it doesn't need to be end it can be string also if you have a string array then what you have here is like let's say hi let's say yo lol maybe you can have strings like that so that's a string array now how do you represent an array in java okay let me show you that so to declare an array you write let's say you want a string array string then you give a box bracket here's the variable name a equals new string and here you specify the number of elements you want let's say we want six that and a semicolon and we do that in a smaller string bracket a equals new a is just a variable name it can be whatever or one new string 10 this makes an array of 10 elements numbered 0 through 9 so 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 that's 10 of them if you want to access the 10th element you look for the look at the ninth position in the array now you can also declare an array as string a and you can put the the box after the a it's the same thing and this is just, just the same essentially so if you wanted a more generic format i would write data type var name for variable name equals new data type bracket size bracket close and here of course data type i would prefer this way of doing it putting the, the bracket after the data type because it makes your code cleaner it makes it look neater now as for this video i think we're done i've shown you how to declare an array now if you wanted to access if you wanted to know the length of any unknown array you could write int l is equal to a suppose a is an array that's been defined a dot length length is an instance variable in a which you're accessing and you're storing that value in l so if if you have an array of length 10 so l will be 10 so that's about it for this video i hope you guys understood hope i haven't confused you too much have a good day peace don't forget to subscribe and comment and thumbs up and all that